Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to download these golden ratio overlays and use them to analyze and crop your images in layered programs like Photoshop. To find the web page where you can download these overlays, uh, you'll want to type in Parks Photos, notice the plural, parksphotos.com forward slash golden overlays. Type that into the address bar of your web browser and we'll at least start on the same page. The overlays are broken down into two sets, cleverly named Set 1 and Set 2. Uh, you can see there's a lot of redundancy here. There's uh, the, These eight files, for example, are the, are the same. It's just this same file here flipped over several different ways. And you can certainly do that, it, download individual files and uh, just by clicking on their name or the, or, the, or the picture itself. Or you can download the entire set in a zip file. I have links to, next to each one there. So there's two different zip files to, to get all of the uh, the overlays together. I think it's a good idea to do that because I, if you download both of the zip files, they're, they're less than 40 megabytes in total, and uh, you would have them all in a single file where you could use them sometime, even offline, you'd be able to use them that way. The second set of overlays is uh, made up with files I made with the Phymatic software. You can go to phymatics.com or click on this link here to see it in action. These files, though, uh, were made like those above it to be used in programs uh, like Photoshop that have layers in it. The, 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 one of the cool things about Phymatics, in addition to the fact that you can make millions of different golden overlays yourself and, and, and analyze your images, but the, um, but the Phymatics software can be used in programs even without uh, layers, uh, which is really cool. Anyway, once you've once you downloaded all the files you need and keep them where you can find them again, I'll show you how to use them in uh, Photoshop. Usually when I open a file in Photoshop, it's a raw file, and I've just processed it through Camera Raw. But here I've made it a little quicker by having a processed JPEG image we could use. We'll open that. Now the crop tool, you may already know, has, has, a, has an overlay already in it. Uh, here you can see the golden spiral cycling around here, or maybe you can't. But these, these uh, overlays can be changed by clicking on this icon and, and changing them, or they can be cycled uh, as they suggest down here through the O key or the Shift O when it comes to the golden spiral and changing its orientation. But uh, I find that these, these, these outlines were just a little too light to use in, in many of the images, so I, I created the golden ratio overlays. So to add our first overlay layer, we go up to File, click that, come down to Place Embedded, and we click that. Then you want to navigate to where you've saved your overlays. I put them all conveniently here in the same folder. Um, to, just to analyze how, how the original lines up, I like to start with a layer of the rule of thirds. So we scroll down to that, find it, select it, and then we place it. You'll notice a new layer appears over here, but the image within it, or the position of that image, is not yet committed to that layer. Now, these overlays were made to a 2 to 3 ratio, which of course is a 1 to 1.5 instead of the divine proportion of 1 to 1.618, but they suffice for the conversion. So to keep the ratio the same when you're resizing, you hold down the shift key while dragging one of these four corners. But since we're going to from corner to corner here, it really doesn't matter, so I won't hold the shift key here just to show you. It, it, it doesn't matter because it will work itself out. There'll still be 2 to 3 ratio when we get there. But once you get it into position, uh, then you hit enter and it's now committed. You could then turn off that that one or or not. Uh, but I want to add a second layer so we go back again back up to file, place embedded, and I want this one to be the golden ratio. So we scroll to that, select it, and then place it in there. Now again, we don't need to hold the shift button, but it's a good habit to get into. So to reinforce that habit, I'm going to hold the shift button here as I drag this corner and then this corner to its corner. And once they're in their proper corners, then you hit enter and those are committed. So now you see you have two layers on top of the original. And this, uh, this uh, original horizon line before we crop it, uh, is, is better in the golden ratio than it is in the rule of thirds, which is not something I was conscious of when taking the exposure. Uh, you can analyze your images with many different overlays, but you can see here how it's done. Soon I'll provide more videos with examples of using these overlays. Uh, you can also use a variety of overlays to crop your image to improve it, its aesthetic uh, appeal. I'll turn these layers off here 
to, uh, to, show, to crop an example for you. When using these overlays, you'll probably be amazed at how you've already naturally composed your images without thinking about it, unless you're used to taking full credit for your creative work. Um, but not every image we take is necessarily a candidate for cropping. Sometimes you can play with different overlays to find many golden sections within your image and yet decide to keep the original, which may not as a whole comply with the divine plan. But so what? It's your image. It should convey your feelings or no one will appreciate it. Whenever the golden ratio is perceived, there will be at least a subliminal impact for your viewer. Now on this image, I like the circular motion implied here by the shape of the tree. And coupled with the possible illusion of the wind from the way the clouds have formed, it can make this pinion pine seem to be blowing in the wind. So because of the circular motion, the golden spiral is an obvious choice to accentuate the positive in this image. So we open it with the same method. Uh, scroll down, place embedded look for it wait for it there it is that's the spiral that we wanted now in this case well not yet i'm gonna i'm gonna still crop it to corner to corner just to uh just to analyze it with the, with the original image and i i kind of like the way this jackpot area over here is at that point of the tree and the and the way this uh, golden the secondary triangle line uh, lines up in the same way the tree is pointed and the whole thing seems to be kind of spiraled nicely in that that area there but i think uh i think the energy would be a little bit m stronger if we uh put it to this you know brought it toward the center of the tree so now in this case we have to keep the the shift button down to 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 do that in order to keep the same ratio when we do that but we crop it over here and i'd say let's let's commit it right ab right about there uh, there. Whenever we crop one of our images, it's like composing all over again. We have to consider what elements we keep and which ones we want to eliminate. In this case, as is usual in the making stage of the life of a photo, it's more like what elements we are willing to lose for the greater good because we already eliminated what we felt extraneous in the taking stage. Here I like the light on this bit of bush over here and this triangular shaped piece of red rock over here but they must go for the greater good so this will keep this piece here as our uh, cropping target so now all we have to do is hit the C key and make sure the cropping tool is set for a 3 to 2 ratio and then just uh, uh, crop within the, the the area that we have there and hit enter to commit it and that will be cropped now we can save this as a i want to save it as a jpeg but first we want to make sure all the uh the overlays are off so then we'll go over here and save it in the same file that we have just to compare the two save it as a jpeg image uh naming it the same thing we'll add a g for the golden ratio here uh, let me skip over to that and add a g and then we save that as that uh and then then we'll be able to to compare that, I'm, I'll use the ACDC program to compare that. Okay, so here's the original, and there's the cropped version. Look at them comparing them. I, so right away, I, I see there's a lot more energy in this uh, in this version. I like that the tree is more in your face uh, than it is in the original, um, and we maybe we're, maybe we're losing a little bit of the the motion that I, I i first sensed in the in the original image but i think there's still enough of the of the clouds there to to provide some of that this contrail probably should be removed um, but th there's some elements like like this clump of grass down here or this these this little piece here uh but especially this piece here seems to seems to be more pronounced in this cropped version now, again, what we're losing is maybe a little bit of the illusion of the clouds, uh, this burning bush and this, this triangle, which I don't miss much anymore. The, the, uh, the little bit of the lift of these rocks here kind of bringing the tree up and stuff, we're, we're missing that. But uh, overall, I kind of like it this way. And, uh, and it's always a matter of opinion. So, so hopefully you got something out of this, uh, the video. But if there's anything else you need, please contact me.